Sonia Jones here, Outreach Representative with HSHS Medical Group, and today I'm here with Dr. Aaron Blackburn. Dr. Blackburn is a pediatrician with HSHS Medical Group. Dr. Blackburn, thanks for joining us today. No problem. So we are in flu season, mm -hmm. and one of the things that people struggle with is shot anxiety. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about ways that parents can get their children comfortable with getting a shot? Right, so I usually have about four uh, rules that I think are very helpful for parents um, when they're preparing their child to get a shot. Okay. The number one most important thing is to not use shots as a threat. Um, vaccines are not a punishment, they are a type of medicine to try and help with your health. And so if a parent threatens a shot for poor behavior and then the child behaves and we still need to give vaccines, the child can feel betrayed and then have mistrust in future visits with their physician. So the number two thing that you can do is children often feed off of your emotions. So the more stressed you are, the more stressed they become. Sure. So if you can present a very calm and uh, positive uh, manner, then they usually handle the shot better themselves. So the third thing that I recommend is to be honest, particularly with kids who are older and can kind of understand what's happening. It's best if to be open and upfront about what's coming. Um, I usually talk to all my kids who are at least four years and up about kind of, we're gonna do some shots today. And I explain that it's a poke and a little bit of a hurt, uh, but that it lasts for a short time. Um, I try to explain that there is medicine that they're getting when they get the poke, and that's why we're doing it, but it's not the type of medicine they take because they got sick, but the type of medicine to prevent them from getting sick. Gotcha. The, and then I also try to um, reassure them to, to the fact that it's not a punishment, that this is uh, what we recommend for all kids their age, and that other kids their age are getting a similar shot. So the last thing that I recommend is uh, that parents make sure to provide comfort uh, praise and distraction after the vaccines. The comfort kind of helps acknowledge that the kid did experience something painful. Um, when you praise them and tell them they were brave and did a good job, that makes them feel proud about um, do, being able to overcome this unpleasant experience. And then the distraction kind of helps them not to dwell on um, the, either the pain or discomfort and kind of easily move on. So maybe something like a sticker taking them on a trip or something like that. Yeah, yeah. in our office we do have suckers available, but we always check with parents before we give sugar. Sure. So. Well, Dr. Blackburn, thank you so much for sharing that with us today. I know this will be super helpful for a lot of parents, so thank you very much. Mm -hmm.